सो वेलकम एवरीवन आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज सिंगल पेज आपको कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर विद रजिस्टर सो फर्स्ट वी डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन व्हाट इज रेक्टिफायर एंड कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर सो वी आर दीज आर द टू बेसिकली ब्रॉड क्लासेस ऑफ रेक्टिफायर्स अनकंट्रोल एंड कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर्स इन अनकंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर्स वी आर यूजिंग पीएन जंक्शन डायोड्स इन अनकंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर्स द आउटपुट will not be controlled and that is the basic difference between uncontrolled and controlled rectifier in controlled rectifiers we are using scrs and by triggering the scr we are controlling the output voltage so our first topic today's topic is single phase half wave controlled rectifier with resistive load so this is the basic diagram of your single phase half wave controlled rectifier with resistive load so why this is half wave so we will see there are two classes of fully controlled rectifier fully controlled rectifier is divided into half wave and fully controlled as well as semi controlled in half wave controlled rectifier we are getting output for the half cycle in fully controlled rectifier the output will be for either positive as well as negative cycle and in semi controlled rectifier we are controlling the output for means we are using to pn junction diodes and to scr that's why this is known as semi controlled rectifier in fully controlled rectifier we are using four s so now in d we will see the working of half wave controlled rectifier for resistive load so this is your basic diagram for half wave controlled rectifier your input that is ac signal here you are giving ac signal so input is ac signal to the half wave controlled rectifier the ac is connected to primary of your transformer and uh, load is connected to secondary so in ac input is having two cycles positive cycle and negative cycle okay so now what what we have to do we have to see the working of the circuit so in positive half cycle here we are taking labeling this points as point a and point b in positive half cycle at point a is potential is positive and point b is as negative so in positive half cycle your scr anode is connected to positive potential and cathode is connected to negative potential as we know scr is a scr operation is controlled with the help of triggering circuit so scr will go into conduction state whenever your anode is connected to positive cathode is connected to negative as well as we provide trigger impulse so in this cycle in half wave controlled rectifier in this circuit we are getting output for only a positive half cycle and there is no output for negative half cycle that's why this circuit is known as half wave controlled rectifier so first we will see positive half cycle in positive half cycle point a is positive and point b is negative so because of that scr anode and this is cathode so scr anode is connected to positive potential cathode is connected to negative potential so whenever you apply triggering impulse to scr one it will go into half cycle and current will flow from a positive scr b one low resistance r and b negative and we will get output voltage the output voltage will be equal to the input voltage in negative half cycle in negative half cycle what we are getting we are getting point b is positive with respect to point a because of that anode of scr is connected to negative potential so scr will be made to off state there will not there will not be any current flow through the circuit and output voltage is equal to c is it clear so again we will see the working from the wave forms here in ac cycle we are having positive output cycle positive input cycle in positive input cycle a is connected to positive b is connected to negative at that point that is firing angle alpha at firing angle alpha here here we are providing triggering pulse so at firing angle alpha your input in positive half cycle at firing angle alpha we are providing triggering pulse to scr one so scr one will be going to on state and your output voltage is equals to input voltage so in positive half cycle output is equals to input when you are applying triggering pulse is it clear at this pi firing angle pi your positive input cycle changes from positive to negative your input cycle changes from positive to negative at this point your input cycle changes from positive to negative because of that anode of scr is connected to negative potential anode goes into off state the anode that is your scr goes into off state as scr will be off there will not be any current to the circuit 
and V0 equals to 0. Now, this is the current waveform, this one is for input voltage waveform. Input is your AC cycle, this is output voltage waveform. You are getting output voltage from the positive half cycle. In negative half cycle, output is equal to 0. And that's why this rectifier is known as half wave control rectifier. Why control rectifier? We are controlling the output with the form triggering pulses. If we apply triggering pulse at this duration alpha, then output voltage will be this much. So by varying the alpha, that is by varying the final angle, we can vary the output voltage. This is the form of current. Whether your question is on current will be flow through the circuit and current is equal to the input current. And this is the voltage waveform across SCR1. This is the voltage waveform across SCR1. So what we are observing here, we are observing here that when your SCR is off, when your SCR is in off condition, voltage across SCR is equal to input voltage. And when your SCR is goes into off condition, when SCR goes into on condition, voltage of across Voltage from across SCR is approximately equal to 0 or which is very negligible in the range of 1.5 to 2 volts. So here we have shown negligible voltage. And in this duration we have shown voltage drop across SCR is equal to input voltage. Why? Because in this duration, that is before firing angle alpha, where SCR is in off state, that means we are not getting output voltage. So where is the input voltage going? It will go to drop across the SCR 1. And next, we will see the equation for average output voltage. So in next we will see the equation for average output voltage. So average output voltage is represented as a VDC. Average output voltage is represented as a VDC. So we can write down VDC equals to 1 upon 2 pi integration alpha. So we can write down this alpha 0 to 2 pi Vm sin of omega t d of t. But in halfway control taking back, we are getting output for duration only alpha 2 pi. That's why the equation is written for average output voltage Vd is equal to 1 upon 2 pi alpha 2 pi dm sin omega t d of omega t. So why sin omega t? Sin omega t because this is your input voltage. Your input is sin of the form. This is why it is written here sin omega t. And here it is your peak value of your sin wave form amplitude. So now after that VDC equals to as we have this function, we have this taken out, we have upon 2 pi and integration of sin is equal to minus cos omega t. And these are the limits, lower limit and upper limit. Why these limits are alpha 2 pi? Because we are getting output only for duration alpha 2 pi and what we have to find out, we have to find out average output voltage. That is the reason why we have chosen alpha 2 pi. And by putting the values we are getting VDC is equal to V upon 2 pi in bracket 1 plus cos alpha. So from this equation 1, from this equation 1, we can conclude that your output voltage is dependent upon alpha. Your output voltage is dependent upon alpha. And what is basically alpha? Alpha is a triggering pulse applied to SCR to turn on the SCR. So from this equation, we can conclude that your output voltage is dependent upon firing angle alpha. <coughs> It is clear. So by varying the firing angle alpha, we can conclude that the output voltage will be varying, and that's why this rectifiers are known as controlled rectifiers, which is not in terms of the your CN junction rectifier, that is uncontrolled rectifiers. In uncontrolled rectifiers, you cannot vary the output voltage; it will be you cannot control the output voltage. But in terms of controlled rectifiers, we have seen from this equation one by varying easily firing angle alpha by varying the triggering pulse. We can vary the output voltage and that's how circuit is known as half wave controlled technique. Thank you.